Hi, I'm Lewis Startnell, and this is my new book, The Knowledge, How to Rebuild Our World from Scratch. And you're watching BookZone. Just arriving at the World's End pub in Camden Town in North London, because uh, I thought that'd be a, a good place, an appropriate location uh, to talk about my new book. A pub, if you like, is the pinnacle of civilization. It, it emphasizes very, very nicely the, the fundamental substances and materials that, that our society, our civilization relies upon. So bricks and mortar and iron and steel and the substances and chemistry that we do for ourselves, like ethanol and brewing. So my new book, uh, The Knowledge, How to Rebuild Our World from Scratch, um, is a thought experiment. And the way of starting this book, of, of starting that thought experiment, was to imagine that all of this gets pulled away from underneath our feet. Imagine that all of this modern civilization were to disappear, and you find yourself the morning after, the day before, the morning after the apocalypse, if you like, trying to work out how to do things from scratch for yourself. <laughs> And the kinds of ways that the world might end, it might be a, an asteroid impact or a nuclear war, but actually the best way the world could end, for, for the purposes of recovering society as quickly as possible afterwards, would be something like a pandemic flu, an, an aggressive virus perhaps, that kills a lot of, of humanity, but leaves behind a lot of stuff, a lot of the resources and infrastructure are left behind in the dead cities, which gives you a chance to scavenge and repurpose and gives you a grace period where you can pull yourself up by your own bootstraps before it becomes a matter of life and death. You understand how to do everything for yourself. The knowledge today is so dispersed and then spread amongst everyone that lives and works in society today that no one person, no one of us, actually knows all the different bits and pieces to, to, to recreate a society civilization from scratch. So it's that dispersal of knowledge that's going to be your main challenge and that's what I've tried to cover through the chapters of the knowledge. My main field of research up at the University of Leicester is in the field of astrobiology and I'm looking to the possibility of life on other worlds and I focus on Mars, our next door neighbour planet. And I think that the realisation is that humanity or our civilization we're not invulnerable you know civilizations have, have collapsed in the past whether it's the Aztecs or the Mayans or the Romans or the Greeks and we, we are no more secure than they are and in fact because of the interconnectedness of everything in our society perhaps we're more vulnerable to a sudden collapse so a sensible response might be to not leave all of our eggs in the one basket and perhaps try to set colonies up on other planets and moon, so perhaps start colonising other worlds in our solar system, so that if Earth does get hit by a huge asteroid strike, there's some remnant of humanity to, to carry on and continue. So the book is, is for all of us, all of us alive today, and between you and me, the book isn't really about the apocalypse at all, that's just a way of holding up a mirror to our society, to our modern technological civilization, to, to be able to ask, how does it work? How are things made and done in a very fundamental way? They're the kind of things that we take for granted in our everyday lives. So the one thing I hope that you take away after reading the knowledge is just to appreciate a little bit more, to, to understand on a bit of a, a deeper, more fundamental level how our lives work, how the world around us functions.